Hey, it's a bright evening and we're here right in Kampala, Uganda. Yes, Kampala is home to over 3.6 million people according to statistics and these people, it is believed 70% of them stay in slum areas. Slum areas in Uganda accommodate people that earn less than a dollar or even two dollars. Uh, in Uganda, we have 57 notable slums and the biggest slum is said to be Waise, followed by Katanga and many others. Well, today I decided to come to Katwe Nkere and look into how these people go about their lives and I'm taking short clips. Most slums in Uganda are usually located in low-lying areas which are prone to floods whenever it heavily rains. The flooding leads to frequent epidemic diseases like cholera due to the poor hygiene and the poor disposal of focal wastes which aren't dumped in deep pit latrines end up being driven by the waters from where they were dumped to where people stay leading to the cause of diseases and water pollution In most of these slums, for as low as a dollar, you will eat and call it a meal. Well, these people on average have a meal a day, which explains why most of these are why most of these people are malnourished and prone to dietary diseases due to deteriorated immunity levels. In most cases, these people build on public land or land belonging to the church and other organizations. That explains why they build temporary houses made out of iron sheet, wood and other polythene products like plastic. Congestion and poor hygiene are the order of the day. You will need some good money to get access to clean water, food, well, which products like chapati, samosas, mandazi are the most common foods you'll find in most slums with chikomando as the most famous meal. Sliced chapati with beans too. Well, two chapatis are usually enough for a meal and make sure you eat the meal while it's hot to avoid food poisoning and contamination. 
gambling games like ludo pool table cards checkers among others are always played during in the evening for them to earn a little extra money or even as leisure activities This little kid was looking for the mother with her sibling on the back. The mother had gone boozing and that's her usual drill. Well, I did talk to her and this is what she told me. Also, like I told you, there is plenty of food in these areas. The guy right in front was vending maize, 500 each. The sexual drive is at the peak in slum areas which has derived into the high spread of sexually transmitted diseases like HIV and early pregnancies which at times lead to the death of the mother and the unborn baby or the baby being born. This is the Karamajong community in one of the slums. They always gather in the evening and do this dance. This dance is done for various reasons. It's one way these people can get together and learn more about each other and associate. It also teaches them self-confidence how one should be self-confident while in many people all in public also it's the time when these people share their problems and get solutions well this is how they used to do way back in the african traditional society and it still reigns It's always a hassle for these people to access good health services because even the government provided ones need some little money to have health care providers give you the right prescriptions accordingly. Most of these people end up taking half or not of any of the prescribed dosages or even turn to herbs. 
which continue ruining their body systems. Domestic violence is the order of the day, leading to broken families and more street children. Some of the causes of domestic violence are alcoholism, little or no food, little or no basic needs, and many others. Alcoholism and drugs is another reason why many of the youth, men and a few females work to get some money to buy themselves some drugs which are always cheap. The readily available marijuana, cut or call it mirror, cocaine and others. The collection of scrap like metal, paper, and plastic bottles is one of the other hassles where people get their money in these slum areas. Well, the buyers tend to exploit these people by buying them cheaply, them products cheaply. Like for a sack of plastic bottles, it's about five kilograms. For every kilogram goes for about 500 or even 1,000. The government should set different laws and policies, allow different people that are ready to donate or give money to these people, both from the country and those outside the country. Also, charity organizations should be allowed to intervene into these people's lives such that they can get better for they need it. If you're so keen, most people that have made it in this country, Uganda, that have made it from scratch, didn't have rich parents, a rich background, have come from ghettos or places next to ghettos because there is a lot, there is a lot of talent in these places that need to be exploited. There are footballers, great ones there are boxers great ones there are artists great ones they lack support it's your support and my support that will lift these people from what they are to the next level and we can do it me and you can do it thanks for watching it's ivan atire i'm out of this place S subscribe turn on the notification bell all oh, Share the video too. I'm out. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>